Hey, Kate, it's Monday. What other days are we celebrating today? Today is peanut butter cookie day, Matt. Peanut butter cookie. That's one of the better ones, I think. That's a good one. Yeah, and if you, you throw a Hershey kiss on it and uh, becomes a peanut butter kiss. Mm, there you go. Yep. So good. Mm-hmm. Also, we've got Red Rose Day. Red Rose. A single red rose. Red Rose Day. Yeah. It's also Beef Jerky Day. Oh, there you go. You're into jerky? You got some jerky in your purse? You carry jerky around with you? I don't. I don't. I like beef jerky, but nope, I don't carry it with me. What is your emergency protein? I have a protein bar. Protein bar. <laughs> yeah. Does that do okay during the summertime if you're out by the pool um, or whatever? I, if I'm, I usually don't throw my purse with me at the pool, but that is my emergency purse protein. But at the pool, if I throw it in the cooler, it's okay. Cause it does have chocolate in it, so. Right, right. That was my yeah. concern. Yeah, it should stay in the cooler if we're at the pool. You're not putting me in the cooler. Nope, sure not. No. Do you recognize that quote? Um, Schwarzenegger. Correct. And after that, I don't know. Schwarzenegger is Mr. Freeze. Oh, okay. The whole movie, there he's, he's full of puns, like "ice to meet you," you know, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a real. Tell you what, it was it was a film. It it was in the theaters. Yep. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it in the theater. Did you really? Pretty rough. Yep. So Kate, would you say you have Riz? R I Z? R I Z Z. We were very close there. Do I have Riz? Yeah, do you know what Riz is? I do not. It's a slang term often used to describe someone's ability to flirt and be charming. I do not have Riz. No, nope. no Riz? <laughs> oh, okay. So Riz is right there in the word charismatic. I think that may be what it's based on. And it's fairly it's fairly recent term, Kate. Just became yeah, popular within yeah. the last couple of years, according to dictionary.com, popularized by live streamer and YouTuber Kai Sinat. You familiar with him? No. Me neither. I probably butchered his last name, in fact. But Riz, are you going to go use this now? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I'm trying to think of how to use it, like, with the kids and not sound like a, a creepy mom. Well, that's that's the objective of this show. You know? To sound like a creepy mom? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I know. I did Riz. not sign up for that one. <laughs> okay, so maybe you catch one of the girls flirting with somebody, right? I hope not. And, <laughs> and you go, I saw you trying to riz up. That guy over there. Yeah, I still think I come off as a weirdo mom. Can't wait. Can't wait to find out. I think maybe it's more likely that this would come up in your life. Really? Yeah. Because I'm rizzing people up? Yeah. And you could even say, did you get that? I rizzed you. I'm a hot single out there getting my riz on. There you go. Good point. Matt, how do you feel about cheesecake? Cheesecake is pretty good. It's been a while. I used to get Burger yeah. King's cheesecake back in the day. I'm not sure if that's still a thing or not. When I lived in Aggieville. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a Burger King there. Do you like an Oreo cheesecake? Does that sound good? I think I've had that before. Yeah. Okay. So there's a new trend on TikTok. Instant cheesecake. Two oh, ingredients. God. Okay. <laughs> Oreos and sour cream or Oreos and light cream cheese. Hmm. Sour cream? Sour cream. Now, I know what you're thinking, and before I brought this to you, I had to try it for the show. Oh. This was a that. Monty idea. He saw it on Instagram or something. He was like, hey, we should try this. So we tried it. For the show? Did he say specifically for the show? He did not, but I oh. thought in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, this is for the show. Okay. Okay. I can't wait till the time we get Monty into a, we should do this for the show mindset. I know. Someday. No. Someday. So you take an Oreo and you can either put a schmear of cream cheese or sour cream on your cookie or you could dip in the tub. Either way, I wouldn't go too heavy, but no. I tried it. It tastes like cream cheese. It tastes like cheesecake, but I don't like cheesecake. Uh -huh. So I was not having more than one. I had the one. And I was like, yep, that's cheesecake. <laughs> well, thank you for doing some science for the show. Yeah, 
So this one, they say to try uh, light cream cheese or sour cream. Light cream cheese. Yeah, so it's not as heavy. Or sour cream. And you used which one again? Mm -hmm. I did sour cream. Huh. It was instant cheesecake. That seemed like that would be wrong. Why is that? Are sour cream and cream cheese that adjacent? Yes. Really? Okay. I think so. All right. Just yeah. texture wise is the main difference. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Hmm. But it wasn't terrible. It, it definitely tasted like cheesecake. <laughs> it's just that cheesecake is not your thing. It's just that I don't like cheesecake. So, and I don't understand. You would think that cheesecake would be my thing because it's got cream cheese or fruit or chocolate or, and it looks gorgeous. But every time I'm like, nope, too much. Can't do it. Sorry. Yep. Too rich. Too much, yeah, for sure. All right, Kate, beware, get rich, quick chat GPT schemes. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. It turns out the only people getting rich on get rich, quick chat GPT schemes are people who make videos on how to get rich using chat GPT. Oh, geez. Yeah, but no one else is really... I shouldn't say no one else because there are a lot of job posts out there that are asking for experience with generative AI or like prompt engineer where you type a prompt into chat GPT. Mm-hmm. But those are for jobs and careers. Those aren't, quote, get rich quick schemes. More or less. So if you thought you could just sit there and talk to a chat bot for a living. A little bit more complicated than that, Kate. Nice try. A little bit. Yeah. Have you thought about using chat GPT to make money, Kate? I have not. I still haven't messed around with chat GPT. Don't you have FOMO? Not really. No FOMO for chat GPT. No. Huh. Everyone, yeah. The rest of us are over here having a great time and you're there doing what? Living behind the times. I guess so. Yep. Writing my own emails. Like an animal. <laughs> yeah. Like a cave person. Matt, it's time for a quiz. Oh, it's a trademark Matt and Kate quiz on Matt and Kate. Yes. Let's play Florida Headlines today. Florida Headlines. Okay. I'm going to read you a headline. You're going to tell me if it's a real Florida headline or if it's a fake Florida headline. Okay. Pressure's on. Okay. I feel like I need to start slow and lead up, right? (laughs) Okay. Sure. All right. Here we go. Canine dog rips off Florida man's testicles during oh drug bust. God. That was starting slow. That was starting slow. Yeah. I will say that's true. Canine dog rips off Florida man's testicles during drug bust. Fake. Oh, okay. It definitely sounds something like the Florida man. Yeah, I guess if you have pants on, it'd be hard for the dog to clip both, I would think. Right? But dog gets you while you're nude. Watch out. Watch out. Okay. Okay. Florida man arrested after hitting dad with pizza because he was mad he helped birth him. Okay. That's a long headline. Yeah, I'll say <laughs> I'll say it's true. That is true. That is a true Florida headline. Hit him with a pizza. I didn't want to be born. I'm gonna throw a pizza at you. Yeah, do you think it was in the box? I don't know. That would make much more like of a weapon than just yeah. throwing a slice of pizza. If it's fresh out of the oven pizza, that could burn. That could burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Another Florida headline. You tell me if it's true or false. University of Central Florida professor fired for saying Abraham Lincoln deserved to be shot. I will say that's true. That sure sounds like it's true, doesn't it? Yes. It is fake. Oh, okay. Florida Which makes fair. me feel a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that maybe that didn't ever happen or... Yeah, I'm hoping it didn't ever happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> to a Florida person or elsewhere. Right, That's right, very right, generous right. of you. Yeah. Great. Okay, here we go. Florida man, true or false headline, okay? Okay, yes. Florida man shooting at Target in backyard... Hits neighbor sitting at dining room table. That seems like that probably happens often in Florida, I would think. I think so. So you're going with real? Yep. That is a real Florida headline. Tell me about these Florida types. Yep. 
You never can tell. No. All right, Kate. According to Pinterest Predicts 2023 report, primal movement is the fitness trend of the year. Primal movement? Yep. You might have heard of it described as caveman calisthenics as well. I have not. Go on. So you get down on all fours, for example, and maybe you imitate an ape, maybe a donkey, a crab, maybe, or a scorpion, depending on the specific workout you're looking for. Okay. So if you're trying to find like-minded folk, Kate, look for animal flow community groups. <laughs> what? Yeah. When was the last time you played like an animal, did they ask? Do some bunny hops, maybe? Hop around, Kate? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what you do. This is how you get fit now. You pretend you're a cave person. Yeah, caveman calisthenics. I'm not sure. Did cave people walk around like scorpions, though? Probably not. I'm probably not. No. That's a brilliant visual, though. Caveman. So a little piece of fabric barely covering his goods. Doing the scorpion. Doing the scorpion. Yep. I you say scorpion and I picture crab walk. Those are two different things, right? Are they? <laughs> are they? Are they? I don't know. Right? Tell me what did this thing, what, what did this say? Imitate Yeah, this says imitating apes, donkeys, crabs, and scorpions. So yeah, you're right. Crab walking cave person. Okay. Is what we should visualize, yeah. Scorpion cave person? Yeah, I'm not sure. That's tougher. I hate crab walks. Do Those you? are hard. I do. Those are really hard. Apparently, that's how you get ripped. Yeah. So you think you're going to aspire to be in the animal flow community, Kate? Probably not. That doesn't sound up my alley. Yeah. No, it sounds too hard. <laughs> oh, that's the biggest reason why? Yeah, I'd rather walk on a treadmill in air conditioning. Thanks. Yeah. I think you could do this in air conditioning. Just because it's called caveman calisthenics doesn't mean you have to rely on cave person heating and cooling technology. No, but I think you need a little bit more space than what I've got. I don't oh. know that I could be doing the caveman calisthenics just yet. Just yeah, out there in your backyard. That way, Chad and Anna, Jean and Kim, Kevin and Valerie and Mark and Gail can witness it. Right. That'd be great. Right. right. Yep. I know all of Kate's neighbors' names, dear listener. He does. And one of mine and one of mine. No, maybe two. That one guy's name is either Dan or Dave. One of the ones. Yep. Dan or Dave. Do you ever be like, hey, Super D, what's up? No. I try, no. To, try to avoid him, frankly. Because you don't know his name? No. For other reasons. I just can't be bothered. Okay. <laughs> Matt, the USPS said last year, 5,300 of their workers have been attacked by dogs. Oh. Hmm. Does that sound high or low to you? I feel like that's a lot. I thought maybe that was something like a... Overblown stereotype. That's a lot. But that's a lot, right? I think so. I don't know, like, the level of attack. Like, if it's just a flesh wound versus, like, a bite or, right, you know. Right, have to pierce skin. Right. They require a rabies shot or whatever. Right. My guess is it's whatever they reported to their bosses, right? I would be mortified if my dog bit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You think that's close to happening? No, I think when we get like packages and the dog is out, I think that they might be like, wow, she is jumping a lot and peeing. I don't want to walk up to that front door. So I get a little like protective, like get the oh. dog quick before FedEx or whatever gets here. So the dog's hanging out in the yard doing its thing. You know, just chilling. And then the driver shows up and. She has to be protective, but she also gets excited because it's somebody new. Like, what do I do? Do I pee? Do I bite? I don't right. know. She jumps. She pees. She barks. All at she the same time. She gets excited. All at the same All time. All at the same time. Yeah, pretty much. How talented. It's a big, you know, whirlwind of dog pee and. <laughs> uh huh. And barks. Sounds like a sounds like a scene. Yeah. I know. It's fun. It's good times. <laughs> No doubt. Have you ever thought about consulting a smile coach, Kate? Do you mean a dentist? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. 
No, a smile coach. Someone that teaches it. Nope. A, I've never on heard a, of a smile coach. On a smile. Apparently, this is a thing in Japan right now. Okay. Because they were a lot more recently demasked than we've been. And so, apparently, they forgot how to use facial expressions. Oh, okay. And so, they consult smile coaches, Kate. Hmm. More smile, more happiness, it says. People have not been raising their cheeks under a mask or trying to smile much. Now they're at a loss. Post-COVID, Kate. What do I do? People train their body muscles, but not their faces. Says this smile coach, Kate. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I have to train my face because if I left my face the way I normally would, I think people would be like, why are you making that face? I'm like, I don't know. Just smiling. It's okay. <laughs> People started realizing they hadn't used their cheek or mouth muscles very much. And you can't just suddenly start using these muscles. You need to work on them, Kate. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is a culture thing. Clearly. Clearly. Although I haven't looked into a smile coach in the U.S. I guess I should do that before I jump to conclusions like that. But it seems like this is more of a thing in Asia. Smile coaching. Hmm. Pretty wild stuff. I, I would think one would still smile in the comfort of their own home. Maybe you're watching a humorous video or something. Right? But no. Smile atrophy, apparently. Hmm. Matt, just for the pun of it. Just for the pun of it. Oh, you know what this means. Kate's going to give us a setup to a joke, and then you and I, dear listener, will guess the punchline. All right. What do you call a chicken looking at a bowl of salad? A chicken... Looking at a bowl of salad. Mm -hmm. Well, chicken salad is a food item. I hope I don't get butchered and put in that salad. Is that what the chicken said? No. No. Oh. Chicken is what looking at a thing. What do you call a chicken looking at a bowl of salad? What do you call a chicken looking at a bowl of salad? Yes. I'm. Uh, uh, Cock a doodle d salad. I give up, Kate. What do you call? <laughs> what do you call a chicken looking at a thing? A salad. Chicken sees a salad. Chicken sees a salad. Got me. Get it? Yep. Caesar. I see. I, I hear and see. I understand. The chicken sees like a salad. Caesar. I like Caesar salad. Indeed. Yeah. Yep. Good work. Yeah. Yeah.